Libra, welcome to your story. Today we're going to use uh, this deck and it is called the, this is Stella's, and then we're going to use the Baroque and the Baroque looks like this on the back. So this is the new one today. If you caught wind of it in video one, if you have a new love situation. So we start off the reading today with two pre-shuffled cards. We have a Libra here who keeps to themselves. We have a Libra who stays in their own corner, pays attention to their own business, to their own business. Uh, we have a Queen of Pentacles and the Strength card to begin today. Okay, so we have a little bit of earth here, a little bit of fire as well. And when we have that earth fire combination, it's somebody who can be homely, uh, working on their own storage of energy. I feel like this person also takes good care of themselves. This is like a beautiful pre empress type of energy before she touches onto her own inner strength, which is deep, deep inside. And there's that lion who's her companion. And whenever you see the strength card, she's trying to trying to tame this lion, you know, um, and the lion is complying with that energy and together they're kind of causing like a yin and yang effect. And so this is kind of the inwards of the Libra I'm talking about today and masculines, this can also be you embodied, okay? Especially Libra females today on the channel. We're gonna see what's going on in the person's um, inside world where nobody has access to. I feel like the Libra keeps this sacred. Let's find out what's going on in their sacred space and what they hold dear. It could be um, rather secretive, like they don't talk about it a lot. So let's look at this leap and energy. What's inside this person? We have the Queen of Swords. They are rather brutally honest about everything in their current life. Um, they go through the negatives and the positives day in and day out. I feel like this Libra is very honest with themselves. And I think people would find that very surprising about them too. And the Eight of Cups. They just recently walked away from something or someone. And this has been a mystery in this person's life. Also where they are trying to gather strength from at this time. I feel like it's a broken heart. Um, and it's been really long here, this process about trying to process what's going on uh, with the other person too. I feel like this Libra has a twin and they also are taming that inner lion inside of them. It actually can be the Queen of Swords today. Okay, so we're going to look deeper into that. That is the secret of this Libra, the Eight of Cups. Okay, uh, they just recently walked away from something. Why? Why did they do this in the energy of Libra today? What's the uh, the focus here from walking away? Do they want a better life? Oh, they're healing at this time. Healing in the most precious way. Also, they keep to themselves due to this. I kind of feel like this Libra too, that's the Leo with the lion picture here. They're very focused on healing correctly and mending those wounds in a way where they don't jump into something new. Um, they're not getting into a new relationship out of desperation or boredom. I feel like this person's taking extra time to read through things, maybe read other people's accounts too. Like maybe they find stories or they watch readers online and they're very curious about how to heal in the best way possible. Also after a long break. So I did sense that this Libra is in no communication at this time with their twin. It looks here like these are two twin souls that once had a great time with each other. Maybe they used to sit and talk like this, like on someone's patio or in, um, I'm getting here like in someone's vehicle, they would even chit chat like this and laugh. So the Libra misses that about their twin incredibly, even maybe singing in the car with this person. Okay, we have the two of wands. They're going to take a risk in their life before, you know, this is the precipice before making a choice, the two of wands. It's also a choice card and a decision card in tarot. So the Libra is just right there right now between those two leaves. If you can see that they're sort of like propped up um, like a landscaping tool. So we see the two of wands and um, the Libra is almost ready. Also carrying a lantern there in her hand, there's a candle. So I think she's still or he's still looking for something to do here, okay? There's something precious to this Libra too. It could be the memory of this person. I feel like they're calling on to this person. What's the twin doing nowadays? The twin is in the devil energy, Capricorn, okay? They could have been a Capricorn too, or I'm picking up a fire sign here. Um, I think Libra misses them, but they know that this person's no good. Like they know they're toxic, they know they bring in some drama and the Libra walked away with that Eight of Cups you saw earlier because it's the best decision at this time. It's not that they don't love this person anymore or they carry harsh feelings, they might. <laughs> I feel like Libra just made the best decision for their life. And as you see, 
and these two cards, they have the same dress. So I think that this is a story that's currently going on with the Libra, okay? Uh, let's see what the possible outcome is here. We have the Eight of Wands. Libra is going to have some swift progress here, and it's going to be rapid. Of course, the speed of the Eight of Wands, it's a fast card, so I feel like the Libras here are charging for new things. I'm getting a little chariot energy mixed with temperance, so they're learning how to balance too, okay? Several aspects of their life. Thank you. We have the Hierophant. I think there's a new person um, that's very interested in the Libra. They could be a Taurus or they could be a Sagittarius. I'm also picking up here. That's a Taurus card. But I definitely think that somebody views them as commitment secretly. And this person is almost about to say the words. Okay? So that's what's going on in this story today. You could resonate with Taurus, that Hierophant card. You can also resonate with the Four of Swords, having taken a long break. Or you're in no communication healing at this current time. And what I get from this is it's a map, right, in the background of this young fellow. So I think the Libra masculine or Libra female in this story today has an inner compass that's built into their heart. And as you see there, it's all the inner workings of a map. Where Libra's being also led to something interesting as well. What's this interesting place that Libra seeks, like in their dreams? They're seeking marriage and they're seeking a sense of belonging to and maybe even building a home here because the Four of Wands is a home card at the end of the day. So I see here that they want to get married and they want to find somebody who just matches in sync with their soul, okay? Uh, they want to spend each and every holiday with the same person for the next 50 years, okay? Libra's got a plan. I feel here too that if you're this person in the story today, you're almost like calling in this soulmate in this way, okay? Um, let's look at the Four of Wands. Thank you. Yeah, temperance. We said that phonetically or we said that in the air. And we have here an ancestor in the temperance card that looks after Libra day in and day out. Why does Libra have to be protected in this situation? Why does Libra feel that they have to have protection in this certain story? A Knight of Cups, a return of somebody with the Knight of Cups energy. Okay, they could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I'm picking up a Scorpio male in today's story for some reason. Like I just heard Scorpio very, very loud in one ear. We have the Knight of Cups. So they almost fear that someone's going to come back, give a romantic response here, and want to reunite. <laughs> almost dropped all the cards. Reunite with the Three of Cups. Okay, so there's energy here, um, maybe for this Libra to go out too with the Three of Cups, but they definitely feel it's coming from one person, and this person could have been very strong in the past. Can I see information on the Knight of Cups too? Thank you. Shot right over the camera. The Emperor. Uh, this person has made improvements over time. They could be an Aries as well. Libra's afraid that this person will come back and show a different side of themselves of which they didn't turn into before. Okay, so there's been improvements and I feel like they're going to show up and suddenly they're going to offer a four of wands. Libra's kind of fearful of that because they didn't expect this person to return ever again in their life. Okay, again, the cards that tell me that are the six of swords. And I also feel like Libra wants to start a new romance with somebody with the Four of Wands and not return to anything retrograde in today's story. All right, ooh, it's getting juicy. So let's look at the Devil card. Why did this person in the past, show me the Knight of Wands. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what is that energy? Yeah, they were confused. Look at this. They were confused in the Pisces energy of the Hanged Man. They never committed. It seemed like this person always caused confusion for this Libra and it actually hindered their success or it hindered them moving into a long-term commitment, which we see in the Four of Wands. Libras always wanted this and they still do. That's, you know, that's the sad thing and it's also the sweet thing in the story, okay? Um, messages for Libra if they stuck to this story or they loved it. Let's see what's going on here. An Ace of Pentacles, there's an offer coming in energetically in the air, okay? It could be from an air sign since I keep saying that. And I think maybe um, Libra's kind of found someone that they vibe with and that they feel is charming and maybe even cute here because we have the Knight of Swords at the end of the reading. And this has been kind of the card of the week if you guys have noticed some cards repeating. The Knight of Swords is one of them. And I think Libra is finding that a Knight of Swords has an energy here to come in and invite them out. And I feel here it's not only mental communication, but it's also coming in really romantic today with this Knight of Swords. 
It's so funny because that's the Knight of Cups for me, but the Knight of Swords is coming in really sweet today and sentimental. Um, I think that the Libra knows who this is too, okay? Anything else on the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. And this ends this reading. Um, they do love being single. They do like the freedom that it comes with for this Libran. But so far, it's proven that there has to be something else that comes out of this story in terms of finding communication with someone who can uh, provide this Libra with a lot of love. Um, there's no judgment with this incoming person. And I feel like they're just a sweet Knight of Cups as well. Um, and Libra's welcoming this energy too. So love could be manifested this coming two weeks or two months. I'm going to leave it there because this story was really sweet. However, the X comes back in this flavor. Libra's coming in in this yellow marigold dress. Um, and we also got an offer with this Ace of Pentacles. It could be from an Earth sign as well. I hope you guys enjoy your day today. I hope the week wasn't too rough on you. Uh, tomorrow there will be no video. Um, I'm going to take a day's break and just sort of meditate and um, kind of collect new cards and see what we can do for the coming week. So tomorrow there will be no video, um, but I will see you right back here on Saturday morning. Thank you guys for all of your support as always. I'll see you then.